Hello, everyone. Today I'll talk about the vultures now. To make it clear, I won't be reviewing the vulture grubs due to their lack of similarity. Now let's get straight to the point. There are two species of vultures that can be found, which includes the regular vulture and the king vulture. The regular vulture being the most common of the two, being able to access most regions that aren't enclosed. Their diet is purely carnivorous, eating even the smallest creatures to being able to eat most species of lizards, centipedes, and spiders. Strangely, they don't target lantern mice, despite seeming like a nice morsel, ultimately proving vulture have morals. But I'll put a list up for the regular vulture so you can get a good understanding. Their body is roughly circular, having two wings and no visible legs, which when you think about it is a trend among the flying creatures in Rain World. Their wings also have colored blades, depending on the color of the vulture. Vultures sometimes also have a variety of hanging bulbs from their body. Variety-wise vultures have a large color palette, with many different varieties each influencing their body parts and including their eyes. The main feature that is very striking is the so-called jetpack, a completely unique part that stands special among the other creatures. They also have an elongated neck with an insect-like face with mandibles and large oval eyes. And there's also the signature mask in which Moon comments it being, it's light but strong appears to be some composite material interwoven with bone. It could be part of an animal or purposed organism. Anyways, body aside, you might wonder how this giant creature can even fly, as its wings can barely qualify as wings in the first place, especially with its slugged form, unlike birds that have a more specialized body shape to aid in flight. Well, the first thing is that these wings are very, very huge. But on Earth, we have birds with large wingspans with the biggest wingspan recorded is around roughly 20 feet. This is in the fossil record, mind you. And there's also the gas expelled by the vulture to aid in movement, and it's fair to say this gas is pretty powerful as it's quite efficient at getting a vulture to stop moving or changing direction. The gas itself is shown to be able to allow vultures to center themselves, so it leads to the question, what is the gas made out of? And well, I'm really bad at chemistry, but there are clues such as the gas emitted is shown to be white, and the longer it's exposed to the air, it turns more dark purple, making me believe the gas could be having some sort of oxidation or a sudden temperature change. But I don't know. When the gas is exposed to water, it creates little bubbles, so it's pretty clear it's light. But like I said, I truly don't know. Personally, I like to think vultures have a dedicated organ next to the jetpack to carry this gas, which allows the vulture to be a little ballooned. The wings themselves are also used as arms. When a vulture stops flying, it'll use such arms to traverse the terrain. There's also blades among the wings which I suggest are used for propulsion, scare tactics, or even for other vultures to identify it. With the mask, I have my fair share of theories. Since Moon states it's mainly made of bone, and it's likely from a purposed organism, I'd suggest it's like what others have stated that it's likely the masks are used by vultures to identify each other. And there's a bit of evidence to back up this theory as if a vulture loses such mask, some certain effects happen. Are you happen. sure about that? For example, when vultures attack with a mask, their bites usually aren't lethal. But if a creature removes such mask, it will become incredibly aggressive to the creature that removed the mask with its eat relationship, being reduced to 10%, preferring to kill the creature that demasked it, then getting its daily supplement of yummy meat. Maskless vultures will also start using lethal bites, and honestly, I don't think this is anything else than the vulture using pure rage. When a vulture loses such mask, other vultures will also start to attack the unmasked one almost like they don't recognize it. Despite even regular vultures being apex predators, they are indeed still afraid of some creature. Well, afraid could be harsh word, it's more like they leave some creatures alone. I'll put a list up to show some. There's also the second type of vulture, the king vulture, but unfortunately no queen. Very relatable, Mr. King Vulture. The king vulture is almost anatomically the same as the regular vultures with a few differences. One being overall a bit larger and having a different mask, but also having harpoons, because why not? And also tubes connecting its body to the head, for which I assume is to the harpoons. The king vulture is not playing around, being much more aggressive than its cousin targeting even more creatures, which I'll show. Its harpoons are dedicated to kill with even having a laser sight and emitting a beeping sound when firing. They also release gas when fired to allow it to quickly impale a victim. King vultures will try to reattach their harpoons when they miss or just want it back. They'll also try and pull them out the ground when necessary. In general, they are almost identical to the regulars, just with a new set of armor. Surprisingly, there is a rare mutation that can be found in vultures, and that is albinism. 
It's incredibly rare and even rarer is a rainbow variety, which will just show the wiki because I can't find it since I know it's rare. Albino vultures are still completely identical, just a different coating. I should also mention the rain. Vulture are incredibly lucky as they don't escape to shelters to escape the rain. They simply fly to an area higher than the clouds where the rain doesn't touch them. Makes you wonder where they drag the corpses they get. Now there's the grubs. I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to talk about them, but I will have to talk about the actual laser. Why vulture grubs exist is beyond me. Maybe they are the offspring of vultures, but I doubt it. I imagine vultures simply understand the laser means food. If they can't find whatever triggered the grub, they'll just eat the grub. It's a win-win for the vulture. And the vulture grub, you know, might not die. Now, as you've probably guessed, vultures are likely purposed organisms made for a reason. And it's likely vultures exist to keep the wildlife of Rain World away from the iterators, and to simply be pest control. Yeah, that's all I got. It's better than the Miros vulture theory. Yeah, that was bad. Also, a little fun fact for combat. Hitting the head or neck does double the damage, then hitting the bodies and hitting the wings does a smaller damage amount. Anyways, I feel I've covered everything and it still doesn't feel like enough. Tell me if you want another biology video or something else.